There are all kinds of different ways to format various documents that have to do with jobs. Hi, I'm Adrian Harris from Rights On Consultant Agency, and this video explores the correct way to format a cover letter. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. Even though a cover letter is a one-page document, it is vital to remember that how to format it is important. According to Mike Simpson's 2017 Cover Letter Formatting Guide, there are three types of cover letter formats you can use. The paragraph format, the specific needs format, and the shopping list format. Although all three formats should address the same audience, how they address the audience is what sets them apart. Mike reiterates that the paragraph cover letter is the most common and usually contains three to four paragraphs. The first paragraph serves as an introductory paragraph. The second and third paragraphs are to be used so you can describe your skills and abilities and any job experience that reiterates why you qualify for the position. The final paragraph should be dedicated to concluding your cover letter. Use this last paragraph to say thank you that they have taken their time to read your information. The specific needs cover letter has the standard introductory and concluding paragraphs. However, the middle portion is formatted in what one could say looks like columns and specifically identifies what the employers are looking for and what you bring to the table that matches their needs. The final cover letter format, according to Mike Simpson's guide, the shopping list format, is a mixture of the two formats previously discussed. The major difference being found in the formatting of the body paragraphs. The introduction and conclusion paragraphs are typically the same. Instead of the column body paragraphs, you structure your information in the form of a list. You address what the company needs and your qualifications in this listed format. Now, the font for your cover letter should be in a simple font such as Arial or Times New Romans. Be sure to only use one font with no use of underlining or italics needed, and if you are going to bold words, please do so sparingly. Using a 10 to 12 size font is the most appropriate. As it relates to spacing, spacing is needed at the top of the page, and likewise, spacing is needed between your paragraphs. Finally, when you are sending a cover letter via email, be sure to format it correctly. Simply copying and pasting your cover letter into the email is not the best option. Instead, make it a PDF file. If you must copy and paste it, be sure to remove all formatting and HTML. Submit the letter as plain text. I hope this video helps you write your next cover letter. I'm Adrian Harris from Rights On Consultant Agency. Thanks for watching. Created using Powtoon.